Hello friends, welcome to a new series on creating an advanced AI assistant with electronics and automation. We are going to go beyond just programming and here I will show you how to integrate your assistant with electronics. This project is perfect for exploring and learning new concepts such as AI electronics and robotics. If you look around, you will see that all technology are based on both programming and electronics. So here we will try to make, create and integrate these different domains of concept to make something truly amazing. Not only you will learn how to code and work with electronics, but you will also get an hands-on experience integrating them into a single project. This is a great opportunity to explore the intersection of programming and electronics and see how they can work together to create something truly impressive. So let's get started. Now Jarvis will explain what are the requirements to make an AI assistant. I am grateful for this opportunity senpai, therefore subscribers, in order to make an AI assistant like me, the following requirements must be met. You should at least have a basic understanding of Python, additionally, you need an IDE, such as Visual Studio Code or PyCharm. During the process of making our assistant we will learn more concepts, which include electronics and AI. I will cover every topic that may be necessary in the future, also, if you're wondering where this voice came from. In the next video, I will explain how to add 300 plus voices to your assistant with code. Which include different voices and accents like this. Also in Japanese accent, if you love to watch anime. Now Senpai will continue further. So let's get into coding. Libraries which we will need today are date and time, SpideyDX3 speech recognition. So date and time is a built-in Python library for working with dates and time. SpideyDX3 is a library for converting text to speech and speech recognition is a library for performing speech recognition which will convert spoken audio into text. You may face error while installing speech recognition. Solution is given in my website. Here I have shown you two different ways to solve the installation error. Now we will initialize pydx 3 by making a variable engine. Engine equals to pydx 3 dot initialize. Voice variable to get voices. Engine dot get property voices and engine.set property to set voices so 0 and 2 are the range for different voices setting voice speed in a variable voice speed set to 140 also set property rate you can get more information from the documentation of pydx 3 so now let's create speak function which will take an audio string as input and speak it using the pydx 3 engine so by doing engine.say audio engine.run and wait so to listen for a command from the user and return it as text we will make take command function which uses speech recognition library variable r to create an instance for the recognizer class from the speech recognition module microphone instance for the speech recognition module and assign it to the variable source. This line prints the string listening. Set the pause threshold attribute for the recognizer instance to 1. The listen method captures the audio and store it in the audio variable. And we will use try and accept block to recognize the audio stored in the audio variable. Printing recognizing. If the operation is successful, query variable will store the recognized text using the recognize google method of the recognizer instance and with the language set to english us. If there is an exception, the code within the accept block is executed. This line simply prints a blank line to the console and returns the string. And then we will return query. Now let's make a function which will speak the current time. Define function time, make time variable. We will use date time library to get the current time in hours, minute and seconds. Then we will call speak function and pass time variable and also print it. 
Let's create the main loop of this script. We will use while loop query variable to take command in lowercase and print query. So if good morning in query, assistant will speak good morning. If command includes the word time, the script will call the time function to speak the current time. After this, you can make endless elif statement and set query to call different functions. You can also create wishme function which will speak welcome back sir. So to create good morning, good evening, we will create our variable and which is equals to date time dot date time function to get R in 24 hour format. If the time is between 6 to 12, it will say good morning. If it's between 12 to 18, it will say good afternoon. And if it's between 18 to 24, it will say good evening. And else good night. Also speak, how can I help you today? We can call this function here. And now let's test our code. Welcome back, sir. Good morning. How can I help you today? What is the time? 8 hours 53 minutes and 25 seconds. The sound of this voice is not that good. We will make a new speech function with more than 300 natural voices in the next video. So that's it for today. See you guys in the next video. I got